beloveds. Beloveds from the windows of the egoic mind, you look upon one another and think, they have a gift, they have an ability, they have something I do not have. This one can sing, this one can dance, this one can paint, this one can draw, this one can channel, this one can stand on their head, this one can stand on their toes, this one can le levitate, this one can bake, this one can do whatever it is that you look upon another and, and with envy say, I do not have that. Beloveds, we would like to say very pointedly, this is where you lie to yourselves. There is nothing that another does. There is nothing that another has. There is nothing that another is that does not exist within you. You are all facets of a mirror of the God mirror of existence, showing each other, I have this and so do you. When you covet another's goods, when you say, I want what they have because I do not have it, you lie to yourself. And you say, I could never be like that. I could never have that. I could never do that. They are so far above me, so far away from me, so far behind me. When you stand and you say, I am better than everyone else, you stand with your hands upon your hips and you say, I am the best. This is where you lie to yourself. Ask yourself, beloveds, where do you not tell yourself the truth? Where are you living within fantasy? Where have you forgotten the truth of you? And the truth of you is that you are as I am. I am as you are. The Father and I are one. Therefore, the Father and what you perceive as you are one. When you apply the diligence that another has, when you allow yourself to open to remember the aspects of beingness that each of you are, when you are willing to take responsibility for all, when you are willing to say, all that exists, I have manifested. All that exists is a creation of my own. I'm willing to love what it is I fear. I'm willing to love what it is I hate. I'm willing to find everything acceptable. I am not willing to judge anything else. You come into a state of the most profound presence. You come into the state of the most profound love. And you say, I love all. I love every part of me. I like every part of me. I love every part of you. I like every part of you. I accept. I own. I adore every part of you. And that which you love becomes like everything else. And when you find an aspect that you can love unconditionally, that you can have compassion and forgiveness for, that is true love, beloveds. And then that spreads, it oozes. And you say, this thing that I have held is unacceptable, unlikable, unlovable. Look, I can now love this aspect of me that I have always hated, feared, been afraid of, been terrified of, I can look upon abuse and say, this was a cycle of incarnation. I can look upon it with love and forgiveness. I can look upon it with compassion. I can look upon it with God's grace. I can look upon it with humility. I do not need to be better than. I do not need to be more than. I only need to be equal to. You are equal to God's love. You are God's love. And when you allow yourself to remember, when you bring yourself to the presence of the truth, which is that you are still as God created you. And yes, it is being repeated many, 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 many times within your mind and upon your lips. I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. Come to stillness in that moment, beloved, and say, Holy Spirit, show me how I am as God created me. Remind me, for I have forgotten. Help me to see love where I have once seen fear. Help me to see 
love where I have once felt pain. Help me to see love where I have only known judgment. Help me to see through the eyes of love. Come upon me, come and be with me. Embrace me, Holy Spirit, and let me see only the truth, the truth of the love and the light that is all of beingness, that is all of creation. And whether it comes in the form of an Arcturian or a reptilian alien or a blue avian, whatever form it comes, beloveds, know that you are that. There is nothing to fear, as he said, but fear itself. And fear is just a cry for love. Allow yourself to feel the love that I have for you. Allow yourself to know that I am with you always. Always, always, always. Let these words be emboldened upon your heart. <laughs> Love always, beloveds. You have been branded as a Christed being. And you are welcome to fight and fuss and say, but I am not that, I am this. I am this worthless, tiny particle. <laughs> and in the background, you will indeed hear me laughing. As I say, look at my brother, look at my sister, look at the costume that they have worn for their version of Earth Halloween. <laughs> and the costumes are elaborate and the stories are elaborate and Everything that you have told yourself is elaborate. But what is simple is the truth. And the truth that is true always is that you are as God created you. So allow yourselves to remember and know that I am with you always. And I love you. And I will.